12 medical professionals in several states now facing federal charges for unlawful distribution of opioids. This local pharmacist was allegedly selling huge amounts of painkillers on the black market. CBS 12's Al Pefley is live outside the federal courthouse over in West Palm Beach with the details tonight. The charges are spelled out in these federal documents. The feds say this alleged criminal behavior by this pharmacist went on for at least two years. It's very surprising and it's very saddening. Alyssa Stefano is a primary drug treatment therapist at Retreat Behavioral Health in Palm Springs. She's stunned that Casey Kelleher, a licensed pharmacist from Lake Worth Beach, is facing federal drug charges. If you're not taking these medications as prescribed, you're it's very likely you'll get addicted and a lot of times once you're addicted to the opioids the pills you know the oxycodone you move on to heroin according to the u.s department of justice 43 year old kelleher sold nearly 350,000 powerful opioids oxycodone and hydromorphone on the black market from 2019 through 2021 federal authorities say the charges stem from kelleher's ownership and operation of neighborhood pharmacy in boynton beach the pharmacy is now closed we went to Kelleher's home seeking comment. Hey. Hello, you're Mr. Keller. Yes. We're from CBS 12. We're doing a story about the federal charges you're facing. Okay. Apparently selling hundreds of thousands of opioid painkillers on the black market. What do you have to say about that? I'm not interested. Thank you're you so much. You're not interested in Thank what? You. Why did you do this? Palm Beach County State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg says it's not surprising to see a pharmacist facing federal drug charges. I've been working in this area for a big part of my career, and I have seen doctors, pharmacists, and others involved with the healthcare industry compromise their principles to make a quick buck. Drug treatment expert Alyssa Stefano says the opioid problem is only getting worse. I think it's continuing to grow, especially over the past couple of years. The, the pandemic really allowed a lot more people to fall into addiction because they didn't have anything else to do. Kelleher is due in federal court on the drug charge later this week. If he's convicted, he could face up to 20 years in prison, and he might have to forfeit about $2.4 million, which represents the gross proceeds from his alleged crimes. Live in West Palm Beach, Al Pefley, CBS 12 News.